Hey everyone, it's Stuart with Franklin Hill Ventures, and today I'm going to show you how I use List Perfectly to delist items uh, from the various platforms when they when they sell. So I have a item that I sold just now that was a Denby stoneware serving platter that I had listed on eBay, Etsy, Macari, Facebook, and Depop. And I sold it on Etsy, so I need to get it delisted from the other platforms. So the first thing I do is come into my List Perfectly catalog. And I will just mention that I do use the List Perfectly catalog as my central repository for all items. So I list there first, then push it out to all the other uh, marketplaces. And then that makes it easy to manage the delisting process. So we will search for Denby here in the catalog. And here's the item that I just sold. And as I mentioned, I sold it on Etsy. So to get it delisted from the other four platforms, uh, then I'll also mention that I advertise on Instagram. I don't really sell on Instagram, so the, it won't delist from there. But uh, I will go in later manually and just uh, edit the description on Instagram to mention that it is sold now. So anyway, I will edit the item. And then once I do that, It'll pull it up and I'll come in here and I always just verify that my cost of goods sold is correct. I always enter that when I'm uh, first listing the item, but just in case I forgot to do that or you know that I entered an incorrect value, I'll go to my spreadsheet real quick. Here's the Denby 12 inch platter. $3 was my cost of goods sold, so I'm good there. So I can close that section again and then go down to inventory and sales. And you can see here were the marketplaces that I had listed on, along with all the item numbers associated with those marketplaces. So I'm sim simply going to click the sold button. And then it gives me the notice that it's going to start removing that from the other platforms. And if I accidentally click sold, I could just click cancel here. But I did sell this, so I'll click OK. And then that will start opening up the various tabs. Uh, open Macari first. Sometimes it takes just a second. And while it's doing that, we'll go ahead and check Etsy because that's where I sold it. So if we open the Macari, you can see that it actually goes to that listing and disappears real quick uh, because it actually deleted that. Then it should come back to all of my listings on Macari. And so this was near the top and you can see it's now gone. We can close that. eBay, once again, successfully ended your store's good to cancel listing. So we can close that. I should get a me message on Etsy that it was already sold, so it's not going to delete it. So that is good. And we can close this window. Now, Facebook Marketplace, this one usually ends up being a little more manual process. I'm probably a bug in Facebook Marketplace rather than List Perfectly. Uh, but uh, about half the time I'll get this something went wrong, uh, rather than it marking it as actually sold, uh, it'll get that and I have to manually go delete it. Even if I check this now, yes, sold elsewhere, and click next, see it didn't actually uh, mark it as sold. So all I do is go to my account, and then I will search these listings for Benby. And it should bring it up. So here is the one that I actually just sold. So I need to just go in and I'm just going to delete this. If if for some reason, like the person who bought this didn't pay or returned it or something else happened, you know, I can always use my list perfectly catalog just to push it back out and it would get a new item number anyway. So we will delete that listing. And then once that's deleted, we can close that tab and Depop. Usually it does automatically delete. Every once in a while it'll stop on the screen where the item description and other details are, and you just have to click the little trash can icon yourself. Uh, I am using the latest version of List Perfectly, so that could be something that, that uh, they fixed. But in any case, that Denby platter was somewhere right in here, and you can see that it is gone. So we can now close that. And as I mentioned, I've already checked, you know, once you click the sold button, then you can come back in and check the one platform that you sold it on. And then that's going to show 
uh, when you run your reports and uh, list perfectly, it's going to show you, you know, what platform you sold it on. And that's how you get the various dollar amounts for, you know, you sold this much on eBay, this much on Macari, this much on Etsy, and so on. So then at this point, uh, since I'm not going to ship it right this minute, if I were going to ship it, I would just stay on the screen, you know, and I'd fill in all my fees and my shipping and what my total price ended up being. But for now, I'm just going to update this. And then this will move out of my active items, my not sold items, and it should move over to my sold items. And if I click sold and put Denby in here, do a search. So see, I've sold several Denby, Denby uh, China items, but here's that platter. So you know now it says sold. I sold it on Etsy, and then if I were to actually go to my sales analytics. It's not going to show for that one yet, but um, I put sold here, search. Then you can see that, you know, once I start putting in the total sold price, it'll start calculating your profit. All these are items I've sold. I have not put in uh, the actual amount yet because I haven't shipped it. But as you can see, the other ones where I have you know, it put in, put in my profit for me. So that's uh, just a, a quick little uh, video on how I do, um, do my marking of, of uh, the items as they sold. Um, it's a lot of things with List Perfectly. There's multiple ways to do things. So I don't know that my way is the only way or even necessarily the best way, but it's something that I found that works well for me. And hopefully if you watch this video, it will give you some ideas on how you can use List Perfectly to help you manage uh, your selling process. Anyway, I'll see you in the next video and appreciate you watching.